Student enrollment at the Garden City University College since its establishment has been on a low trend until it recorded over 90% increase in its 2021-2022 academic year. Management attributes the low admission to inadequate support, including infrastructure development from the government. Founder of the Garden City University College, Albert Aqua, says the government's failure to support private universities is hampering their growth. Garden City University College has taking the bold initiative to be leaders in the training of, of manpower personnel in the health sector in the country. We have in the past wished that the national pairs would support our cause. However, the usual familiar response has been, this is a private entity and it should not be supported from public space. We need to have a holistic view of this matter. Garden City University College, like other private institutions, do not train the manpower for the private sector. We train for the public and private sector together. The 14th congregation was on the theme transforming higher education through digitalization, prospects and challenges. Speaking on the theme, Director of Accreditation and Quality Assurance of the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission, John Dazi Mensah, stressed the essence of digitalization of the educational system. He says the government is committed to facilitating processes to augment the IT sector at the tertiary level to keep students abreast with global technological advancements. The tertiary education policy document provides some recommendations for advancing digitalization in higher education. And I wish to take opportunity, this opportunity to just mention a few of the things that the policy provides. The government shall provide the appropriate telecommunication infrastructure to make investment in ICT at the tertiary education institution level meaningful. As part of activities, the school commended an alumnus of the school for his benevolence in building a four-bedroom kiddie center for mothers enrolled as nursing students. The edifice, built and donated by Joshua Chumberima, would halt the inconvenience of lactating mothers finding a place to care for their wards. He called on alumni of the school to support infrastructural development. I realize most mothers are unable to pursue their academic dreams after delivery until their babies attain a certain age. Some could not afford to, the, uh, to hire caretakers to attend their case prior in school. I want to thank the founder and the management of GCUC for supporting this project. Over 1,200 students from Wa, Tamale, Takrade, and Kumasi campuses of the university graduated from various disciplines offered by the university. Anita Sawajukas reports, read to you.